gentleman yields back. I now recognize uh, the gentleman from Guam for five minutes, uh, Mr. San Nicolas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I would first uh, like to begin by um, asking uh, uh, the indulgence of yourself and the ranking member. I do have over half a dozen uh, individuals from my Guam Chamber of Commerce in the room today. They've come from um, the other side of the world, uh, and they're, uh, they're here with us, and I thank, I thank them for their presence and for their support. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, I appreciated your um, line of questioning earlier with respect to something that's uh, very, very concerning as well uh, from my, my, my perspective as a, a fellow territory member. <clears throat> We heard earlier that the budget for the interior is uh, roughly $12 billion, and that year over year we're looking at a $245 million increase from last year, a 2% increase. Of this $12 billion, the assistance to territories makes up less than 1% from in, in FY2020. For FY2021, this budget is proposing a 20% cut of that $100 million making the territorial allocation less than three quarters of a percent of the entire interior budget. Mr. Chairman, it's important to note for the record that territories are under the plenary power of Congress, and we have, over the course of exercising that power, assigned the Department of Interior as the primary agency responsible for carrying out the civilian uh, components of um, our administration of territories. One of the things that I think we can all agree on in this room is that while there may be political tensions under certain subjects, one of the subjects that I think tensions dissipate on across the board is on the subject of China and the concerns that this country has with respect to Chinese influence globally, but in, in my particular case, and in our particular case, Mr. Chairman, the concern of China's influence regionally in Micronesia. And China's uh, strategies have been to utilize soft power politics in order to counter our hard power um, commitments. Guam, as a, as a strategic location for the United States, has um, very, very large military assets and a very, very strong commitment from the House Armed Services Committee and from the um, administration, both the Congress and the administration, uh, to ensure that we're investing the necessary resources to uh, maintain our hard power position. Unfortunately, Mr. Chairman, we are losing the soft power battle very, very badly in Micronesia. The Chinese have already um, taken steps to secure alliances with the Solomon Islands and Kiribati. They're making very strong overtures into the Federated States of Micronesia just to the south of us which is a, a compact state that has treaties with the United States. Guam, as um, the territory with the largest amount of hard power assets in the region, uh, is, is slated to receive, uh, along with my other fellow territories, a 20% reduction in the total amount committed by the Department of Interior uh, to territories. And so my first question, Mr. Chairman, is, how can we all agree that we need to be ready to face the growing threats of China while, only, while less than 1% of our total interior budget is going to fortify territories, and this new budget is now proposing a 20% reduction on top of that very, very small amount. Well, obviously, you've, you've made um, very compelling points about the, um, the location uh, in the world and the uh, influence of China. And um, um, I would, I know that Assistant Secretary uh, Dominic has been working with you and, of course, various other departments, the Department of Energy, the Department of State, Department of Defense, are all, I think, uh, acutely aware. And I would suggest that um, this is an issue that will be revisited a great deal. And um, I would, um, I'll take your comments back to Assistant Secretary Dominic uh, today. I appreciate that, but, um, you know, Madam Secretary, the, the numbers speak volumes. And so we can talk about it all we want. We can come to um, agreement over the threat of China all we want. But when we're seeing a 20% reduction in the assistance to territories, uh, we're not putting our money where our mouth is. And the danger is that we're going to continue to erode uh, support of our territories uh, on the civilian side by these, with these reductions, uh, while China is going to continue to step into the region and provide their incentives and their offers uh, to counter um, our inability to, to even maintain what we've already committed. 
And so, Mr. Chairman, I, I'd like for, to ask the, um, the committee to um, uh, please uh, uh, help us to at least reconcile this. This is a proposal from the administration. By the end of the day, the, the budget that we're going to put forward is the budget that we're going to consider as a body. And we should, at the very least, maintain the status quo, if not consider investing further in making sure that our soft power commitments are matching or, or overcoming the threats that China is presenting in the same area. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield.